has been really, really great because it's just another opportunity for, for kids to play and something other than concert band or marching band. Not that there's anything wrong with those things, those are all great things too, it's just one other avenue and quite frankly over the years I feel the kids who were in doing jazz have become stronger players because they're playing an extra hour every day. Um, and it doesn't interfere then with the rest of their academics and making them make a choice. And those kids can still do PE, they can still do art, they can still be in bands and choir and drafting and all that great stuff that we have to offer at Petoskey High School. Jazz is, is another avenue um, to where I, it's my opinion, and a lot of music educators, for music, your students are learning, they're reading another language. They're taking something that isn't English on a page and, and like, for lack of a better ter term, you know, regurgitating or regurgitating it into something beautiful that can move people, um, make people happy, sad. Um, so from that point, just from a, a literacy of a literacy standpoint, of this is a language that I'm translating into something like reading a book and then speaking it to you, or reading French or Spanish. Um, but jazz, then there's a lot more freedom with jazz. A oh, great thing that I see too is there's a lot of students who are really nervous when they first start playing jazz about improvising and soloing because they're afraid to play wrong because there's so much structure, good needed structure in concert band or classically um, designed music where hey it's got to be this for everything to work. With jazz, you've got a little bit more freedom to express yourself, and, and it's really great to see kids really timid about it at first, and then all of a sudden, you know, three, four years later, they're up there jamming. A lot of the, some of the kids you heard this morning or yesterday morning were, were that way, really apprehensive about it. And now it's, <laughs> it's like, who wants a solo? Bang! It's the same kids over and over, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, that's one of the best parts. Again, I think it just goes back to the kids have a better, another opportunity to play and explore another kind of music you know, other than percussion ensemble. That's a, and another great thing is a lot of those, those students that are in jazz, there's a chunk of them that are also in steel band, but they're all in marching band, they're all in concert band. So yeah, it gives them that, again, that, that portal or that opportunity to, to explore that. There's a lot of resurgence in the area. There's um, a lot of veteran band directors, but there's a lot of a lot of young directors coming up that want to want to get after that kind of thing. Um, but Harbor Springs has got a great program. Sheboygan, um, Andy's got a great jazz band program um, down in Charlotte. That's going to start growing as well too. So in this area, um, things I feel are. As far as in the realms of education, kids are getting an opportunity, if they want it, to, um, to explore jazz and, them, and what that world can bring.